<laughs> All right, Marco. I'll be sure to beat you up more next time. <laughs> and Vap sets everything on fire. As Vap should. Um, okay, the monsters are not hitting, I gotta do it myself. It's true, Marco. It's true. If the monsters won't hit you, you gotta do it yourself. An axe to your face. Hey, Marco. I think we gotta ask you a question. <laughs> ba -da 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 -da. If, if anything else, I just make the penis smaller. Eh, well, I mean... It happens. <laughs> Sometimes your penis just shrinks. That mithril's mine. Oh. Okay, hold on, let me find it, Moon. Um, All right, here's our first boss, Sargent. Nice. We're gonna fuck him up. Burn, burn, burn. Much like the first one, no unique boss music. Whoa! Alright, that's worrisome. Oh, there we go. So, Moon, if I remember correctly, like, even though the other countries, um, still make you pick a gender... Yeah, there we go. You found it, Moon. So only the English version removes the, uh, gender identifiers. But... Also, if I remember correctly, even though, you know, it removes the gender identifier and it officially uses a gender-neutral term to refer to the, uh, island representatives, or villagers, whatever you want to call them. And there he goes. Um, in other countries, because other countries- not every language has, you know, a gender-neutral term to use, uh, other countries, it's still gendered. So, like, you're still picking male versus female, you're still, uh... But I don't think that it locks the ability, for example, to, like, wear long hair. Seems they're paying attention somewhat to what the market is actually wanting out of them, but only in one aspect. I mean, yeah. Because that was another thing, like I said, there was an article, or not an article, but like a thread that was complaining about uh, the fact that all of the personality types are gendered. Alright, and slaves are freed, Mithril is gotten. There's a free teleport spell up here that I'm gonna get quickly, and then we'll be out of the caves. Nice. Yeah, even if you go to the wiki, the villagers are listed by genders, too. But yeah, no, they are definitely, um... N-O-J? Oh. Nintendo Japan, yeah. I forgot what I was talking about. <laughs> I'm all over the place. Oh, so... Male personality types are lazy, jock, cranky, and smug. Female personality types are normal, peppy, snooty, and sisterly. You heard it here first. Men aren't normal. Nope. Men can't be normal. They can only be lazy, apparently. <laughs> then what am I? 
I don't know. Maybe <laughs> maybe you're snooty. <laughs> <laughs> and all this time, I thought I was lazy. <laughs> Coco, if you're lazy, then what am I? <laughs> Pretty sure I'm way more lazy than you are. <laughs> the Wait, only thing right. that drives me forward is guilt. <laughs> I don't actually have work ethic, it's just guilt. <laughs> okay, but that's fucking true. <laughs> God, fucking Coco calling me out. <laughs> Oh, that's true. We aren't anything because NB doesn't exist. No, Moon, that's not true. I know what we are. We're ADHD. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, though. Like, that's probably the funniest thing is there's a book that's notable. Um, which is called... I think it's You Mean I'm Not Lazy, Crazy, or Stupid? The Adult's Guide to ADHD, or I think ADD, because unfortunately the book was also made back when it... Back when ADD and ADHD were actually different. Turns out ADD is just inattentive ADHD. Um, but it's just, it's a funny title, but it's a, it is a very good book, I'm not gonna lie about that. Like, it actually does help you with figuring that kind of stuff out. Oh, it's just, boy. It's funny because most people who, you know, are claimed to be lazy actually turns out that they're lazy for a reason. I swear to God, if this thing kills us, I'm gonna be... I mean, displeased. that is the thing that killed us before. So... Be careful, Coco. <sighs> I'm gonna... Um, should I double down on the healing or maybe put about shell? I'm gonna try a shell. Uh, is it, is it shell or... That's a Blastoise. It's, that's a Blastoise. I think it was also said that you Oh, phew. Your... Probably Blink would have helped too. Once again, Vap carried that fight <laughs> like she yep. did in Darkest Dungeon. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's teach. I think this is a white magic spell. Exit. I mean, to well, to be fair, yeah. you, you did have a couple of different options there, depending on whether you wanted a, wanted the XP or not. <laughs> <laughs> It's a white level, so let's just... Because I forgot that, if I remember correctly, teleport literally teleports the enemy away. Oh. Ho! Oh. Alright. We'll be using that sparingly. Which? Uh, the exit spell. It, like, teleports you out of the oh. dungeon, but it, like, almost kills you. <laughs> yeah. I remember that being the case. It's, a. Uh... Definitely a used in dire straits kind of thing. Yeah. I'm just, you know, I'm along with the song, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly it went quiet and I got worried. <laughs> I'm like, uh oh, what happened? I didn't th actually think we'd get through that so quickly, so I'm not sure entirely what we need to do next. <laughs> Yes, 
set them all afire. <laughs> they all fled before she could even cast the spell. They were like, oh, we know what's coming. I should probably put the there we go. Put it off to the side. There. Ah, people are back. Nice. Uh, something is a mood. Oh, the ADHD thing. You wanna take this line? Okay. Take the mithril to Hilda quickly! My husband is safe. Thank you. Yay. Your help saved us! My husband is safe. Thank you. Ooh, I see polyamorous marriage. Alright. Yay. I'm in love with Joseph, but I only get in his way. I already talked to you. Yeah. <laughs> so, what Rogue is saying is that his island is Jock Island. <laughs> Thanks for your help. Ah, oh, yes. Time to go kill a man. <laughs> My daughter is safe. I apologize for being so rude. I was so worried about her. Let me know if I can ever repay you. We just have to go back to Hilda. Yeah. Why is that G funky? I mean, it wants to be funky. Gosh. <laughs> Don't be rude. <sighs> These butterflies are worth a lot, but they're so hard to catch. Before we leave, Got it. I want to get the life spell for Marco. Good idea. I feel like I'm about to just stick you in a bunch of thing. Like I'm gonna put a bunch of fences around you just so I can find you. Because <laughs> you keep fucking going to places I can't get to. Hell yeah. Ooh, you got garlic. I forget what that's for. Um... Hmm. Can't remember either. So I have an extra fire spell. Should I teach that to someone or sell it? I think selling it might be your better bet. I mean, you could technically teach it to, Mo to Mnemonica. But, but, uh... Not much magic there. Yeah. Sorry, Nemonica. Don't worry, <laughs> we've got five cents, Lint, and... What else were, did we get them? Uh, Cat's hairball. Cat's hairball. Might be able to find some, like, tea dredges, too. <laughs> Vampires, says Moon. I mean, probably? <laughs> <laughs> so it would be effective against you, you're saying? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> then again, I don't know. I eat a lot of fucking garlic, so <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, it's it's like people who are lactose intolerant but still eat cheese and, and pizza and all that stuff. All right, don't call me out <laughs> twice here. Come on, come on. <laughs> Even Moon's like, oh, you mean Tori? <laughs> Okay, guys, come on now. <laughs> come on. Come on. Speaking of lactose intolerant. <laughs> hey, I'm drinking soy milk, okay? It's nasty soy milk with soy milk. God, 
So for some reason, the pandemic has made soy milk so fucking scarce. I don't understand why, but none of the stores are selling soy milk anymore, and if they do, it's always vanilla soy milk, and I'm very confused. So, like, I've been hunting for soy milk for the last month and a half, basically. And I've only found it once, like, original soy milk once. My mother recently, when she was out, she just bought me, like, two of these quarts of very- of- No, not very vanilla, but vanilla soy milk. So I've been using it for tea, because it's too sweet to use for anything else. But she also bought these four, like, cartons of... Four cartons of, uh... <laughs> Soy Dream, which is an off-brand soy milk. I can't give this to him right now because buttons came in, but that's okay. Um, and I decided to try it. It's so fucking nasty, y'all. It's got Do you this know bitter what peep green is? flavor. Peep? Yes. Mm, let me go take a look. <laughs> I got the uh, Final Fantasy God up. Right here. Because I'm trying to figure out which one of these would cure poison, but I don't think any of them do. I think technically, um, which I tried it? heal, since that seemed like no. the most natural to me. Heal isn't it. Uh, Isuna is the one that heals status ailments. Oh, some mighty white mage. <laughs> well, the question is, is what did Isuna get renamed to? Basuna is the other one that also does it, but neither of those are here. Anti? And that Peep looks like it's isn't... an ent for something for the enemy, since it automatically targets the enemy. You could try Peep, because that's not listed on this guide as a spell. Well, let's see if it does anything. It's pink. Oh, there we go. Yep. yep. So Peep is Isuna. Wondering how, but all right. Mm. I think the other problem is this guide is uh, partially based off of the remake of this game. Uh, yeah. That's also why it uses different names. So instead of using Min, it's Min Woo. Because they had more letters. <laughs> <laughs> Which, you know, that's very helpful. Having more letters to type with is very helpful. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. People are talking about interesting things. <laughs> I should probably do this. Uh, Twitch.tv slash four pixels gaming. There we go. Peep! Peep! Yes, peep, just like Peppy. Aww. I love the postcard that you can get from Muriel that's like, Do you think Peppy likes me? <laughs> yeah, it's super adorable. For a second there I got also very confused because I forgot that the game has postcards. <laughs> and I thought you were talking about the uh, Valentine's event that they did. Oh. Because for Valentine's Day, the Arcana decided to basically be like, Hey, you can sell, or you can send your, you know one of the love interests, uh, a gift. And what happened then is then the Arcana devs would then send you something in return. And what they sent out were these cute little postcards uh, that are Valentine's themed. And it's very adorable. Yeah, I think I think I saw the them earlier today and I was like, hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Well, no, they've got new ones now. They've got... Uh, so that was sort of a test of the market, I guess, for the Valentine's Day ones, because these ones were basically just, like, they're postcards, but they literally just took, like, 
the background of the game, the sprites, and overlaid a bunch of, like, flowers on the corners. Uh. Um. And then on the back, they actually have, you know, a cute little letter, postcard letter. The ones they're doing now is they're selling their posters that they already have, and including uh, written love letters with that. Which is great and all, but from what I could tell, also, they're very generic, so... Yeah, it's like, like they what don't offer me. you. Yeah. Like, they're cute and all, but, like, they don't offer you to, like, at least put in your apprentice's name, so your apprentice could actually get a letter. Mm-hmm. And, I mean, it makes sense for them to be generic, because... Um, That'd be a lot they'd have to do, then. <laughs> yeah. Their writers would be doing it full time if uh, if they didn't make it a generic letter. But you know, at least offer to like have the apprentice's name input because then you could do that, and at least it's a little personalized because yeah. that's just a enter field kind of thing. Like that's just a simple mail merge thing. But. My favorite from the Valentine's letters was Portia's, because it reads, I was so excited to receive a gift from you, and Peppy was even more excited about the box it came in. No! Like, you won't leave! <laughs> That's adorable. It's just like, I love it. <laughs> it's my baby. The true reason to save Portia's route is to save Peppy. <laughs> I hope people wise up and stop this war. The Earth can't handle much more of this. Do you guys have anything new to say? Oh, if Tobio had myth some mithril, he could make some great weapons and armor. Y'all, I'm gonna fucking fight both of you if you don't stop this. <laughs> <laughs> not milk. It's not soap! You might be able to cross the eastern lake to Palm with a canoe. The Empire's warship is being built in Bosk by slaves. Alright, I think buttons left. She's the only person who came to my island shop. The Empire enslaved many people of Finn. They were taken to help build their warship. Give her some garlic. <laughs> oh! It's the Mithril! Take it to Debole in the town's weapon shop immediately! This will surely help us against the Empire. <laughs> Marco. <laughs> Bands rogue and only rogue because I'm playing favorites. <laughs> I mean, someone's got to do news job while he's gone. Or while they're gone. Getting annoyed at myself. <laughs> Can we give him the ring from his brother? Oh, oh that'd be interesting. That ring! It's my brother's! What has happened to him? Hmm. Gender is hard. Gender's also fake. <laughs> Your sonion's about to be Dunyan. <laughs> Scott once owned a legendary sword made from mithril. If the warship is completed, the rebellion will be annihilated. Huh? <laughs> hey, you also married in sex, so you know, accept the consequences. The Lord, this chat is wild. It's wild. Advanced divorce. <laughs> I'm gonna fight. I'm just an old man. I don't think you're a dude, but let's just see. Oh, you are. Oh, Mithril! I'll start making your equipment right away! Oh, 
I can make anything from Mithril. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> that was a struggle to get out! <laughs> I do realize that New is technically in-laws with Zack because New married uh, my void child. And I'm officially ma in law <laughs> Oh, here we go. We don't get a discount or anything? I mean, come on, we're the heroes here. You wouldn't be able to make those without us. Right. Yeah. Yeah. We deserve a hero's discount. I agree with you, Coco. This is slander. Alright, we go back to Hilda now. Who the fuck is that? Oh, it's just a blue bottle. Do 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 do. <laughs> Oop, didn't mean to do that. Oh. <laughs> A mysterious Dark Knight has recently joined the Empire. He was called back to Parami Paramecia <laughs> <laughs> um, Paramecia? Hmm. On assignment. He's in charge of the warship's construction. Please help us destroy it. Night Vap! Good night, Vap. Oh, oh good news, we already knew warship. A group in Bosk is trying to find a way to sabotage the warship. Please destroy the warship, or at least delay its completion. Hmm, we were supposed to learn something, a term there. But we got, like, the hmm. dialogue we needed. Hmm. Weird. Right. I mean, I guess as long as we've got the term we needed, this is fine. Hilda tasked you with attempting to destroy the Dreadnought, or to delay its completion. The Dreadnought is being constructed around Bosk, which is located to the right of Poft. Return to Poft and then head northeast and south around the mountain range that separates the two towns. <laughs> Alright. Poft was that very f first one that's just to the left of Altea, I think? I think so. Also, I find it hilarious still that it's called Altea. <laughs> because of the stupid uh, Voltron. <laughs> Time for a fight. Because the alert box is all oh, no. over there. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, let's see. Where do I check? I mean, you should have a mini feed or something, right? That's what I'm looking for. It's not here. Shoot. Because I unfortunately have another page that's covered there in your. There we go. Uh, Tamo Pigu followed. Thank you so much for the follow, Ta Tamo Pigu. And that's a very cute name. Thank you! I'm sure the four pixels uh, hive mind appreciates it. <laughs> <laughs> K 
careful. They will absorb you. Now, now that's such a that's such an unpleasant sounding word. We will just we will just mm -hmm. very uh, gently welcome you into our home. Mm, is that what it's called? I mean, if some people might say it that way, like us. Mm-hmm.